It is remarkable that the design of the universe is exquisitely fine-tuned with all the different constants, of which is a few dozen at last count, and all the different formulas are so precisely set to allow for the evolution of complexity. Because if certain constants were a little bit off, nothing would have gelled. How did that happen? Some people say there was an intelligent designer who sat down and designed it. There's actually a correlate of that that's not uh, theological, is that maybe there was another universe and uh, the S is intelligent designer, but uh, she's a teenager in a junior high school in some other universe and created our universe as a science fair experiment. There's another theory that the constants and the whole formulas of this universe evolved. Uh, some theories of string theory have a, a, a almost unlimited number of solutions. And so there could, in theory, be other universes that have different uh, formulas, different constants. Most of those would uh, not evolve into anything interesting. So by the anthropic principle, we wouldn't be here talking about this issue on one of those universes because no life would ever have been created. Another approach is that maybe it's actually not so unlikely that all these different seemingly accidental, happy accidents of the constants being just so all derived from some very simple principle, some mathematical principle, and it all works out and it has to be the way it is. We don't actually have any understanding of such mathematical principles. When you look at the exponential growth of technology, does that give you a different way to look at the fine-tuning or the so-called anthropic principle which seeks to answer that? It does give credence to the possibility, if you look at our destiny, uh, we will become extraordinarily intelligent. We'll expand our intelligence by trillions and trillions. And if it's possible, in fact, to engineer another universe, and based on what we know already, it doesn't seem to be impossible, then such exquisitely intelligent civilizations in the future will actually figure that out and, and probably do it, and therefore create a universe. And it's likely to create one that works well. It's not going to create a degenerate universe that just sort of spirals into, into nothingness. So we'll create one that can, in fact, evolve into something interesting, and maybe that'll be an experiment that it watches. So if you have that observation, then you can think, well, maybe, in fact, we're in such a universe that some other similarly evolved civilization in another universe then created our universe.